I'm very pleased to support the Gender Summit uh, Africa. When over 30 years ago I started working on uh, HIV AIDS, um, there was something that really bothered me. Uh, the prevailing opinion then was that uh, AIDS is a gay disease and affects men only with an occasional woman. But I could never understand why a virus would care about the sexual orientation of its host. That doesn't make sense from a biological perspective. And indeed, um, today when we look at the world, and particularly in Sub-Saharan Africa, over 60% of um, people living with HIV are women. So women are disproportionately affected and infected by uh, HIV in Africa. And there are many reasons for that. Um, there's biology, there's some more vulnerability during heterosexual intercourse uh, for male to female transmission than from um, female to male transmission. That's one thing. But it has to do a lot with the position of women in society, uh, with the fact that um, women often are uh, really subject to gender-based violence, which makes them far more vulnerable to HIV infection. That is now very well studied, this relationship between violence from men to women and the risk for HIV infection, often also linked with alcohol, poverty, and so on. But also, um, women fulfill many different functions in society. Um, caregivers is one of them, mothers, um, and also uh, often um, in key positions in mobile populations, um, in tr as traders and so on. So it's really important that um, we look at an issue like HIV through a gender perspective, because that's the only way I believe that we're going to, uh, to end this epidemic. Also because there are clear differences in terms of health-seeking behavior, access to services between men and women. And that has to be uh, addressed as well. So I'm really pleased that this uh, uh, gender summit is looking into the evidence, but also the uh, consensus building uh, around what works for women. And that's a very important uh, task to add to, uh, to the advocacy and to identifying uh, what uh, are the negative consequences uh, in terms of health of being a woman. The Ebola epidemic in West Africa is another example of how important gender is for understanding um, the spread of diseases, but also uh, for designing better ways of handling that. And um, as in many other Ebola outbreaks, um, women are affected in a different way than men, and that's because of the role that women are playing in society. Um, in the first place, they're often the caregivers, and we know that with Ebola, there's a big risk of transmission when you are exposed to a bodily fluids of someone with Ebola. And it's caregivers at home, caregivers in the hospital, uh, in the professional context, as nurses and uh, um, and also as spouses, as mothers and uh, family members. But also in West Africa, where populations can be very mobile, often it's the women who are the traders and cross borders. And um, that has played another role, or a role that they could have uh, around funerals, uh, particularly of other women. So, so Ebola, again, illustrates how important gender is for the spread of infections, but also the impact of uh, epidemics and infectious diseases on women as compared to men. So I'm very pleased that the Gender Summit platform uh, is really looking into the evidence, the consensus, um, thinking through what works and what doesn't work when it comes to women. And we should ask ourselves when we see health programs disease interventions, does it pass the test for women? That is really key. Otherwise, frankly, not only are we irrelevant for at least half of the population, but also it may be that some of these interventions can be counterproductive or even 
um, harmful for, uh, for women. Let me also congratulate the Human Sciences Research Council of South Africa for uh, supporting and introducing this uh, Gender Summit Africa. Uh, I know the Council very well, it's done groundbreaking work, particularly on HIV uh, in Southern Africa, but beyond that also. And also all the other uh, organizations, institutions that are supporting the summit and bringing everybody together um, so that women on the ground will um, have a better chance for a healthier life in the future. So I wish you an interesting and highly productive summit.